Lucio C9 uh, places us into a objective dealing with proof. Uh, this has always been a big issue with uh, geometry and teaching geometry. Uh, it doesn't change in the Common Core. It's still a very important thing to establish and teach. And I believe, as I've taught it using the Common Core methodology and foundations and transformations, I find more students get this. It's, to me, um, it's heading in the right direction. Let me read it to you. It says, prove theorems about lines and angles. So a very general, and then it mentions this a few. It talks about vertical angles being congruent. Talks about the relationships of parallel lines and a transversal. Talks about perpendicular bisector. Um, it mentions uh, a few, and then you can add more, but I always say hit the ones that it mentions. So um, vertical angles are equal. We have a kind of a classic proof there. Um, on another video set, I will provide you with some thoughts about uh, ways to prove that in a more of a transformational approach. Uh, again, proving and applying the parallel line relationships of angles, alternate interior, alternate exterior, same side interior, so on. Um, prove and apply the, the perpendicular bisector theorem where all any point on the perpendicular bisector is equidistant to the two endpoints of the segment. And then just again, here's a good time and a place to talk about the different kinds of angles. Pairs of angles, linear pair, vertical angle, adjacent angles, uh, complement, supplement, those kinds of things. A great place for this. Um, what's the big idea? This is, we're here, we're ready to prove things. Um, one thing I would mention about this particular one is most of them I do in order. This one I do earlier before I get to congruence because when I start to prove things about congruence, knowing angle relationships, vertical angles are equal, that thing stuff is important for me. Connections, this is all about triangles. Uh, well, no, it's about to be about triangles. It's about angles and about lines at this, at this case. Traps and pitfalls. Um, let me just see what I have down here. I guess uh, it's the usual things. Uh, students struggle to know which ones are alternate interior, which ones are alternate exterior, that kind of stuff. They lose the names. Um, the other thing I wrote down here is, again, to have success here meant that you worked hard back in GCOA4, which was about the properties. Um, these do not have to be done using transformational approach. But my point to you is then what did you just spend the last three or four weeks doing if it wasn't to build to use it now? And uh, again, I'm going to do a video segment about proofs in, in a transformational approach.